the October edition of Lions Roar. I'm Taylor. And I'm Jadaris. Thank you all for joining us today. Let's get right into our top story of the month, Halloween. That's right, folks. We're only 30 days away from Halloween, and we have Antonio here with some Halloween safety tips. Antonio! Thanks, Taylor. Halloween is a time filled with candy, costumes, and fun. Here are some things you need to keep in mind so that the fun doesn't stop. Stay in a group and always communicate where you're going. Carry a flashlight. Some streets can be dark and hard to see down. Make sure your flashlight has fresh batteries that will last you the whole night. Never enter the home of a stranger to get candy. Stay on the porch and wait for that person to give you your treat. Use a sour whenever, it is, whenever, poss whenever possible. It's sometimes difficult for cars to see trick-or-treaters, so stay safe by staying off the streets. Let your parent or guardian sort through your treats. Some candies can be open and not good to eat. If you have an emergency or lose your group, call 911 so that an officer can help you. If you follow these tips, you should have no problem having a fun, safe Halloween night. Thanks so much, Antonio. Time to talk about everyone's second favorite part of the day, lunch. Let's go to Jamiro with some highlights for October's meeting. Thanks, Jadarius. Well, guys, we have two, count them, two dates for nachos this month. That's the 2nd and the 23rd. Some other meals to look forward to this month are chicken patties, tacos, chili cheese fries, and beans and rice. My mouth is already watering. Thanks for that, Jamiro. All our mouths are watering. Now let's get into some important dates this October. We have an early dismissal schedule for Tuesday, October 9th. Students will be dismissed at 120 on that day. Speaking of days off, fall break is Monday, October 15th, and Tuesday, October 16th. Students and staff will return to school on Wednesday, October 17th. And PE with fall break comes the end of the first nine weeks, which means it's time for PE classes to switch. Teachers, please see your PE rotation schedule to see where your kids go. New classes will start Wednesday, October 17th. Smile pretty. School pictures for all students will be Thursday, October 18th. Students wear the regular uniforms. Also, the end of the first nine weeks means it's time for grades. Parent-teacher conferences will be Monday, October 22nd. There will be no school for students. And Thursday, October 25th is the annual, annual ceremony. How good is your hearing and vision? Find out on Tuesday, October 23rd. The nurses will be conducting vision and hearing tests. And now let's move on to some happenings outside of school. Here's Terrell with our DVL report, Halloween style. Thanks to Darius. In case you can't get out trick-or-treating, there are some fun things going around DVL this October. First up, there's trunk or treat. If traditional trick or treating isn't for you, trunk or treat may, might be an option. Come to the Lemon Center on Saturday, October 27th, from from 5 to 8 for trick or treating fun. For more info, call the Lemon Center. Also happening this month, Boo and the Bash, taking place Wednesday, October 31st, 2018, from 5 to 7 p.m at the Hickey M. Wagglesback Center. There will be lots of fun activities, a spooky haunted house and sheriff, uh, sheriff's office display, and lots and lots of candy. For more info, please call 225-621-8653. That'll do it for me. I'm Terrell, and that was your Diva report. Thanks, Terrell. That just, wraps, that just about wraps up our newscast today. Wait. What about Behavior Bash? That's right. How can we forget about Behavior Bash? Let's have Delia, our Behavior Bash specialist for this month. Let us know what we can expect. Delia. Thanks, Taylor. This month, Academic Behavior Bash is going to be filled with lots of fun activities, so you don't want to miss it. There will be cupcakes and candy. And remember, only students attending the bash can wear costumes to school. Just nothing scary. Let's remind everyone of the of the criteria to attend BASH. A, B, is in conduct. Allow one C in conduct. No referrals. Met POC girls or, show, or shows girls to use the interim test fluency or any data or any data point we have before, before the BASH. 
passively completes all all work to the best of his or her ability. So keep these things in mind all month as you work towards your goal. Thanks, Delia, and that'll do it for us here at Lions World. See you guys next month.